Hey there, this is Carrie with High Volume Oxygen. I am here with Mark today at the Lincoln Hot Glass Studio, and we are going to show you how to use an HVO Pro Gen 10 to power your Smith Little Torch. So I'm gonna turn you around here so you can see Mark. All right, so Mark, can you show us how to hook up okay. our Smith Little and, and how we should be working with the Pro Gen 10? All right, so uh, we've got an oxygen hose Okay, the, uh, the Smith has uh, oxygen fittings, usually it comes with B fittings. Okay. So we've connected an oxygen hose. Okay, uh, but the ProGen has a barb. So oh, right. we've also connected to the end of the hose, we've connected a section with a fitting on one end and then it's open on the other end. Excellent. So. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this end, we're going to put it on the ProGen, and we're going to tighten the hose clamp. Just for good measure. Yeah, Just for good clamp. measure. It's low pressure, you know. so it probably won't uh, blow off, but this is nice and safe. Okay, and now we've left the valve on, on the torch. You always want to leave the valve, the oxygen valve on, on the tiny torch, so that when you turn on the, the concentrator, it has somewhere for the oxygen to go. Uh, if the valve was off, you'd see that ball drop. You see how it's dropping? So we want to leave that valve open so the oxygen's got somewhere to go. Right, and if it's off and it doesn't have anywhere to go, there's back pressure. It's going to start beeping and you'll know it. Okay. It's not good. So um, when, you, when you light the torch, you have to turn it off momentarily. So this is how you do that. You've got, so we've got oxygen flowing. We could feel it, okay? But we're going to turn it off for a second, and we're going to light the fuel. Right? And now we're going to add our oxygen back in. There we go. Excellent. And that's all there is to it. And then we adjust it. So here we've got the tiny torch, which is just like the Smith or the, the others. Uh, running off one ProGen. It's really only using two to three liters a minute. So you could run uh, you could run four of these from this machine. Let's see. Yeah, I would say at least four. So you would just hook, it, hook in some T lines and go? You could, yeah, you could uh, just do T fittings and you could split your lines and run a bench of four of these torches with one of these machines. Probably nice. even five. Nice. So for a jewelry shop, that would be a, a good way to go. Excellent. And the machine will be happier when it's flowing more, you know, uh, so anyway. Well, excellent. Thank you there so much go. for your time. You're welcome.